Hey, Tayton, welcome back to my kitchen. Today I have my friend Brittany in the kitchen. Welcome. Hi. Brittany is the first friend that I ever made in New York City. Yes, and I'm excited to be here. Usually I have people attempt to make something and then I teach them how to make it. But um, not gonna lie, before I started doing research on this, I didn't know how to make this. So I was like, there is simply no universe that you'll know how to make this. So I'm just gonna teach a maker. Today we're making Yay. falafel, like a falafel sandwich. Fun. Do you, have you ever had falafel sandwich no. before? No. I don't even know what that is. Oh my God. So. Even better. <laughs> So falafel are these chickpea and herb patties that are deep fried. They're from the Middle East and then they're served with like a salad over here, lots of fresh flavors, fresh foods. And now you just got into cooking recently. Yes, I have, but only frozen food, so. It's a start. Yes, it's a start. Yes, um, so I guess let's just like jump into it. So here we have our chickpeas. These are like dried okay. chickpeas. So I'm just gonna fill this up with water. Now I've soaked this and we need to let this soak overnight, so. Do you have like a day or two to spare? Maybe. So, and over here, but if you wanna give that a whiff, it's not gonna to smell too good. Ew. Oh, oh my God, oh my that was God. worse than I think. <laughs> As you can see, it has rehydrated them. So here, do you wanna give those a little touch? Feel that? Now, they've kind of been rehydrated. So, yeah. we're gonna come over here. All right, so let's pour it into the strainer. Let's just give it a rinse. <laughs> I forgot how bad that smells. All right, let's bring this over here into the large bowl and let's just start mixing it up. So we're gonna add a whole lot of ingredients. Let's add in our onion, some garlic in there, some coriander, the Aleppo pepper into there, cumin and salt. Do you like cilantro? But I feel like there's no taste. I don't know. We'll hey, as long, as, it, as, long <laughs> as you don't not like it, then that's good okay. with me. So now you just wanna mix that up. With my hands? Yeah, just go for it. I mean, you okay. gotta get messy in the kitchen. Okay. What we're basically going to do is you're getting that nice and mixed up and we're just going to process that in the food processor and okay. make it into kind of like a uncooked couscous consistency. <laughs> All right, now do you want it, since your hands are already dirty, do you want to scoop about yeah. half of it into here? Make sure that you got kind of- I want to make a mess though. Equal. Oh, I love making a mess. So. Now, while you're washing your hands, I'm going to start on blending these up, but you kind of got to just mix it every few seconds. It's actually a lot of times done in a meat grinder, but I wanted to make it more accessible to the home cook. You, my friend, right there. So <laughs> let's just start blending. Great, and just kind of mix it up. And let's keep on. All right, and mix. And yet again, another scrape, but I think we are almost there. Mm, oh my God, that smells really good. Yum. Really bright and fresh. Oh, so yeah, really fresh. can you help me scrape yeah. off everything with the spatula sure. into here? Oh my uh, God. And, yeah, it's a, it's a team project over here. Okay. Put that all in there. Maybe like top it. There we go. Mm -hmm. Always helps in the kitchen. Can you help me transfer yes. it into here? So what we're doing now is we are just going to pop this in the fridge. This is gonna sit in the fridge for at least an hour up to 24 hours. And then they are almost ready to fry, but there's one more secret ingredient. Do you have any guesses? Um, pepper, salt, I don't know. <laughs> no, but you'll find out. It is ready. So the secret ingredient, if you could just dump it back in here is baking powder. So you know- I was wrong. That's, yeah, you were kind of wrong, but it's okay. Uh, baking powder, what that'll do is it'll help it kind of fluff up a bit, mm -hmm. give it a little more airiness when we actually fry it. Now, so falafel are deep fried, which is personally my favorite method of cooking. I feel like you wouldn't be caught dead deep frying something in your own house. Yeah, no. Yeah, no, I feel that like- That does not go down yeah, in my I apartment. <laughs> I feel like you're, you're not the deep fry type no. of human, but I am. All right, my oil is heating up. Now, you want anywhere between 325 to 350. 350 is usually like the optimal frying Wait, temperature. are we putting this in there? Well, look, so I got this fancy tool. And this is a falafel press. And basically, so I'm just gonna pull it up and see how that kind of expands there. Mm -hmm. And I, you wanna kind of be aggressive because you wanna pack it that in. That was very aggressive. That was, <laughs> slam it down and then you push it up the sides. Okay. Like that. And then, watch. Come here, come here, come here. Then very gently lower it in there and just slowly push it out and you have the perfect little falafel. Now, Yum. All right, let's have you give it a try using the fancy little tool. Push it up there, then push it on the sides, and then kind of just get rid it's of some little... of that excess. There you go. And that should be good. And then very carefully lower it in. Very, very careful. Go a little closer, perfect. 
And there you go. Should I do another one? Yeah, we're just gonna keep going. Okay. We need to fry 30 of them. 30? Yeah. Oh my God. Do you have a few days? Yeah, Great. actually, I don't know, but. Well, Am I really going to be doing 30 of these? Yeah, I mean, I could take a turn also, but you're doing a great job. I think I'm doing good. And basically, we're going to fry them now for about five minutes or so. You want it to be super golden brown on the outside. The inside is going to stay nice and bright green, but it kind of like brightens the color on the inside, so it'll actually be a little bit even more vibrant and green. It kind of steams on the inside, which brings out the chlorophyll. It makes it brighter. I'm scared like the oil's going to like come up in. Just plop and fry. For me. Yeah, you want to be careful, yeah. My goal today is for you not to get burned by oil. Hooray! This is smelling really good. Do you want to take a little peek? Come here, come here, come here. Oh, hello, okay. <laughs> let's just get, let's give this a little, little peek. Look at that. If yeah. that doesn't look like falafel, then I don't know what is. The best part, Brittany is an easy person to enjoy this because you've never had it before. So even if it's bad, you'll like it. All right, the falafel is ready. Look at those beautiful falafels. Yeah. They got nice and just honestly deeper than a golden brown. Place them onto a nice paper towel lined baking sheet and just fry up the rest. All right, now it is time for us to make the cucumber tomato salad. I want to know what are your, how do you rate your cooking cutting skills abilities? I would give it a 7.5. 7.5. Okay, that's higher than I anticipated. I'm excited about that. <laughs> so we're gonna just cut these into a small dice. If you you can do the cucumber, okay, cool. and you basically almost want to cut it like the size of chickpeas almost. So I am very excited to see your culinary. I mean, like, how small do you want them? Like that? Well, also like a dice, like little cubes. Cubes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What do you mean my cubes? Like here, I'll show you. So can you cut that and then into those. Okay. Or do oh. I just do it like this? Um, you can, that'll take a little bit longer. Here, this is what I would do. So you cut like a big piece like that. Here, cut yourself a big piece. And then you cut it into planks. So here, I did it. Yeah, be careful. Watch your finger, watch your finger. Okay, great. <laughs> then cut it into planks. Then you can kind of stack two planks like this and okay. then cut it into little sticks. Then give it a 90 degree turn and then cut it into your little dice like that. And that's how you do it. Like that's like the most quick, efficient and like even way to do it. I think that was good. Yeah, no, that was perfect. Okay. Oh, I'm no. just gonna transfer these into the bowl. You wanna plop half those or most of them into here. Do you wanna cut an onion? I think so. All right, let's I mean, see. we'll find out today. I cut the sides off. That's correct. That's far as correct. Okay. Just stop me if I'm doing mm -hmm. this wrong. Oh, almost correct, yeah. You can take your knife and you're gonna cut it three quarters of the way. No, no, like use the tip here, mm -hmm. there. And you're gonna cut it three, no, no, there you go. Three quarters of the way to the end, so like that. Leaving a little bit, perfect. And you're gonna cut, we're just gonna do probably about like a fourth an inch cut, like that. And by cutting it only three fourths of the way, it's gonna keep it all together, so it stays together. Oh my God, this is strong onion. I can't. God, <laughs> this is an emotional lesson. And then what you do is you're gonna give it a little turn. Perfect. Oh no, there we go. Turn there. Okay. Then you're gonna do one cut, flat hand on there, and then very mm -hmm. careful, just cut it down the middle, but extremely carefully. Careful, careful, careful. All right, that looks good. And then you can take your knife out. Okay. And then finally, you're just going to cut it like this, and you have perfect. Wait, should I start on this side or the cut side? The cut side, yeah, the cut okay. side. And then you have perfectly See, chopped I didn't know onion. This. See, it's like the perfect way to do it. A little bit of onion in there. Oh my God, that is strong. All right, so this is All right yeah, let's just do a little cleanup. All right, we cleared away the onions because that was traumatic. Yeah, we started crying a lot. Yeah, that was too much. We had to cut the camera. <laughs> so can you now just cut that lemon, squeeze in about half the juice in there. Cut I'm just it in gonna half. Grab, yeah, cut it in half and then, oh. Like this. Yes, perfect. There we and go. And then squeeze half the juice in there and I'm gonna add some olive oil. Now at this stage, you can kind of do, choose your own adventure, do whatever you want. Olive oil and your lemon juice are the essentials, some salt and pepper are the essentials, but I have two other spices that I love to add in to just, you know, boost up the flavor, make it a little more fun, give it some pizzazz, if you will. First up, Aleppo pepper, give that a little sniff. You know, Is it spicy? Not like spicy, spicy, it's mostly, just it'll just give it flavor. like a nice peppery flavor, nice. <laughs> but it's not like hot. Got it. I don't worry about that, especially not the amount of pudding. And this is a really cool ingredient, this is Sumac, so it actually smells different than it tastes, but 
it's it's like very like uh, citrusy. Yeah. It'll add kind of some citrus notes into there. It also adds obviously a nice color. And then just give that a little mix up. And Yum. a little tomato salad is ready. So let's re let's rain up, round up. <laughs> let's round up the accoutrement. We have some pita over here. Uh, I have some. I'm trying to like cut all this. Slug. I don't recommend you put this in yours. It's very spicy. Okay. I have two pickles in a ba bag. Oh, I didn't make it. Pickles in a bag. Two pickles in a bag. And I have some tahini. So it's time to make ourselves falafel sandwiches. Okay, so let's just assemble. Now our pita bread is not looking too good right now. So a little trick if it's looking sad is just pop it into the microwave for like 30 seconds or so just to uh, give it some more life. I'm gonna grab my bag. Well, we're cutting the pickle, right? Yeah, 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 not a whole okay. lot. It's not gonna be a whole pickle. Yeah, just wanna like cut those into some coins. Sure. Take the pita. Okay. Cut off like the top little fifth of it, and then it's time to stuff it. So here's your pita. Okay. And then just separate the two layers on the inside gently. It can rip kind of easily. Put it on the inside. Yes. Well, it's a whole little sandwich. I thought we we're gonna like fold it. No, no, no. Uh, I like to start with a little base of tahini in there, so I'm just gonna give myself a nice little drizzle. I'll do whatever you you're want. doing as long as not too spicy. Yeah, you can probably skip on the sluk. That's a little spicy. Then it's time for. Falafel, this is how I do it. I like to put two on the bottom to start. So here, let me give you two, right in there. Then I like to start layering things in and then continue layering it. Mine's ripping on the side. Ooh, yeah, it's maybe, okay. yeah, just be gentle, but it's okay. It'll... You gotta be gentle with these little things. Slug, this is a very spicy uh, little, like, it's like the consistency of pesto, but it's hot sauce. It's like a hot sauce spread. I'm gonna add some in there. I don't recommend for you, though, because it is quite spicy. I'm assuming you're putting the pickles on top. Yes, pickles in there, and then just load it up on top with even more falafel. But you see what I'm saying now? Now you have falafel, Salad, falafel, and then I top mean, it off. I mean, mine's a little interesting looking. I yeah, feel like yours looks better. It's trying its best. Yeah. That's what it's doing. And then even more falafel, even more toppings, a little more slug. Yours looks great. Mine looks so sad. It'll look happier. Yeah, top okay. it, top it. There you go. There you go. Now it looks good. Falafel cheers. A little cheers. 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 Let's give it a try. Oh, God, I'm so excited. That was really good. Ooh, the slug did not come to play here. I'm glad I didn't put that in there. Yeah, no, I'm glad you did not either. That was spicy. Mm. But falafel is perfectly cooked. As you can see, it is crunchy on the outside, soft and pillowy on the inside. It is just, whoa! That slug! <laughs> wow, I'm happy to put that in. Oh, wow, the whole face is on fire right now. But perfectly crunchy on the outside, pillowy on the inside. Then the salad on top gives like that kind of fresh note, mm -hmm. a little zing from the onion, citrusy from the lemon juice. If you want to make this homemade falafel at home, you can find the recipe at atombrenout.com. It's there. I know really it is. Good. It's it's right there. <laughs> look for it. If you can't find it, look again. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe. Subscribe. Hit the like button. Hit the like button. Comment. comment. Uh, what should they comment? Comment your favorite food recipe from his website. Yes, oh, that's a creative one. And if you haven't already, be sure to pre-order A Tanks World available everywhere you buy books. Pre -order. Where do you buy them? It's there, I, <laughs> I can tell you that. And all they're linked on atomeatstheworld.com. If you need us, we're gonna have a little falafel party over here. Cheers Don't mind to falafel. Mm. That was really good. That was really good. Oh, it's spicy, I'll tell you that. I'm putting another pickle on it. Yeah. Mm.